Choosing a building material for your next mid-rise building project is like choosing between two adorable puppies at the pet store. Both can be great, but one might tear your house apart. So, to assist your building material decision-making process, let me tell you a little about wood construction and cold form steel. First, starting with our fine foresty friend. Wood has been used in construction before the dawn of mankind. The material was perfected as much as it could be and is now used as structural and design elements in commercial and residential buildings. The renewability of wood makes it a cost-effective option for architects and builders who need short-term cost reductions. Lumber is super easy to produce, requiring less manufacturing energy, but does take a few dozen years to grow, or more, sometimes a lot more. And just like two cute puppies in a pet store, wood is naturally sourced. And every piece of wood is different, with its own unique set of desirable and undesirable qualities. No two pieces are the same. They will eventually rot, and they're easily combustible. Once delivered to building sites, wood can add some annoyances that can cost you time and money. Wood joists are heavy, especially for longer spans, and may result in higher trade expenses. Now let's take a look at cold form steel. Architects can be pretty flexible with room designs, since cold form steel can span large rooms and bear a lot of weight. Cold form steel is fabricated in a factory, where pieces are precisely cut, including access holes for plumbing and electrical. Once on the job site, cold form steel is really easy to carry, just a couple of guys, and doesn't require specialized crews to install, saving both time and money. But since time is money, then I guess it will just save you time or money. Cold form steel can last an extremely long time. We haven't measured exactly how long yet, but trust us, the material simply does not break down. Builders can also receive some serious cost savings in builder's insurance with cold form steel, since it's non-combustible. All that being said, compared to wood, cold form steel is a brand spanking new structural element. Many architects and builders have not yet even considered cold form steel. 12 stories is pretty much the maximum height that cold form steel can be used as a structure element. And yes, a fire stopping plan needs to be completed early in the process. Builders may need to have project approvals earlier too, since each piece of cold form steel is customized for your project. So there you have it, wood and cold form steel. And just like choosing between two fluffy puppies, you must only choose one. Look at the pros and cons of wood in your project. Do the same with cold form steel. Let's talk about which is best for you. iSpan operators are standing by.